If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG Worlds 2020. Now, um, as you can see, this is an expanded deck. I feel like, once again, I've covered pretty much everything relevant in standard. I don't think there's anything too surprising. There's like an OGX basic fire deck going around that seems to be pretty good. Um, it's like the ability register deck, but actually without ability reshi, which Kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't make sense, I don't know. Um, it's definitely um, a nice deck um, to play with, has potential, but today we're gonna focus on this really cool idea. Um, props to Japan, this weekend they had the Tokyo Champions League. Um, Shintaro Ito retweeted this list, I'm not sure if it's his idea, can't read Japanese, or if um, it was someone else, the tweet had a photo of someone else attached to it. So I'm assuming it's their deck, but I have no idea since I can't read Japanese, but uh, credit where credit is to you. This concept is really, really cool. Um, I feel like if I were going to any expanded events, um, I'd be interested in playing something like this. I do think it's a pretty cool idea. As we have Karchim Giratina, of course, um, we all know and love. Paired with Malamar didn't do as good as people would have hoped for, but 170 HP does have the linear attack dealing point damage to any of your opponent's Pokemon. But we do have the Calamitous Slash attack, which deals 160 damage. Plus, if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, this attack does 80 more damage. So, not a bad amount of damage to be dealing. Um, 160 for 3 energy is still pretty solid. And we also have the GG and attack, which allows us to discard one of our opponent's Pokemon and all cards attached to it. And if we have at least three extra fighting energies attached to it, then we get to discard two of our opponent's Pokemon. Now, how on earth are we going to power this guy up? Well, in Expanded, we have the double dragon energy. So this makes um, Garchomp and Retina even more viable than it already was. And we also have Miss Mages' ability, Mr. Message, which once during our turn before our attack, we may draw cards until we have seven cards in our hand. And if we drew any cards in this way, then this Pokemon is knocked out. This means that um, we give our opponent a prize and this immediately activates some really, really powerful cards, which are number one, Lieutenant Surge's strategy. If we are behind on prize cards, um, our, we can actually play three total supporter cards, including Lieutenant Surge. Then we also have Ace Trainer, where if our opponent has more prize cards than us, we get to shuffle our hand down to three and we get to draw six cards ourselves. And finally, we have Dol Mars, where we get to draw cards and we get to discard a random card from our opponent's hand. If Jason James was available in Expanded, it has been preemptively banned. Um, I would definitely be playing that card, but we also have the Karate Belt, which if our opponent has more prize cards remaining than us, then the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to cost fighting less. Therefore, you get to use Calamity Slash or even GG and for a single double Dragon Energy. How incredibly broken is that? Now, I am running the Hoopa Engine with double Jirachi and four Shaman EXs. This allows us to keep drawing and finding extra resources. We have the Sky Field for sure to be able to find all of this. We have the Tapulele GX as well to help us finding supporter because it is searchable through the mysterious treasure. So a lot of really cool cards. We also have Chip Chip Ice Act to be even more annoying and control our opponent's top deck um, throughout the whole game. So really, really cool concept. I've been really enjoying uh, using this particular deck lately and I do think it has a ton, a ton of potential. Um, 
So yeah, I'm hoping to showcase the deck for you guys in today's video. We have computer search for our ace pick. I know I always forget the ace picks in expanded decks, but here it is. We have the dust stones as well, of course, so that we can evolve into Miss Mages on turn one and immediately start um, applying that pressure. And so, I mean, giving gifting our opponents prize cards and then taking away their hand. I thought about playing red card as well. Um, seems like a decent call in the deck, but let's go ahead and play a game or two, maybe more, depending on the length of the games, to showcase the deck and see if it's actually a viable concept or not. Um, I played a few games and the deck was working so flawlessly, I wish I had recorded those games, <laughs> because those were really showcasing the deck really, really nicely and really fluidly. Um, hopefully we are able to continue on that hot streak and we can keep on doing that. We shall see. Okay. So, we have to call the coin flip and we have to go first. This is where the deck is at its strongest. Now the new rules will definitely change this. Um, the new sword and shield rules, which I know a lot of people are asking about and whatnot. Now this hand is definitely a bit on the awkward side because we don't start Guardian Guillotina, we have no Ultra Wolf or any searching capabilities. So I believe I'm gonna start with a Shaman. And then what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up using Jirachi GX for an N. Unless we get a, like a fabulous top deck here. Jirachi, Jirachi EX, sorry, not GX for an N. Uh, yeah, I think that's the plan. Jirachi for N. Yeah, because none of the other people work. And we'll hopefully find a... I mean, I'm gonna burn this for sure. Just for now. Ooh, it's a plasma-based deck, interestingly enough. This is a plasma-based deck. And now, off of this end, we're hoping to find... Um, definitely not this. Definitely, definitely not this. So, on the slower end of things, you do need to find Mysterious Treasures or Ultra Wolves to be able to get going, but not quite. I mean, you don't need to win like that super, super quickly, but it's definitely, definitely useful to really get going. Um, of this, of the next three cards, basically our top deck and Mars, we need a Mysterious Treasure. That will really help accelerate our draw. If we actually top deck Mysterious Treasure or the Ultra Wolf, that will allow us to um, play a bunch of stuff because I will be able to dust stone immediately into the uh, Miss Magius, play Lieutenant Surge, and then we will have access to Skyfield plus double Mars potentially. So we'll see. We have a bunch of cards that we can top deck. A bunch of decent cards that we can top deck. We shall see though. We shall see. Plus my energy attached through the frozen city and not much else for my opponent. Okay, so we'll go ahead with the Mars. Not quite. <laughs> not quite what we are hoping for here. We'll just have to end up passing. My opponent must be very confused as to what exactly I am doing here. There's a Thunderous EX. Yeah. I mean, I'm not too worried about my opponent's deck, I just wish I was showcasing the deck's fluidity a little bit more than it currently is showing. There's another Deoxys, and my opponent actually goes for Sky Return. Promotes the dude. Not the card we're looking for though, come on. What is happening here? I mean, if my opponent KOs the Shaman, I am completely okay with that, I feel, because then I go for the Ace Trainer, and I can get going, I already have the Double Dragon Energy to attack. It does seem like we're gonna go down, right? Spring Knuckle, yep. 
we are gonna go down. I definitely don't like that. My opponent will be able to attach an extra energy. And we're probably gonna win this game just based on the fact that my opponent's Pokemon are very underwhelming. Right? Very underwhelming in terms of their attack power. The plasma Pokemon are definitely lacking behind in the power creep, right? Definitely la lagging behind the power creep. Four energy for 90 damage only. That is so, so little damage output. Okay. So all good though. All good. Kind of want to leave the stadium, Frozen City. That way my opponent places damage counters on his own Pokemon. And therefore... Um, therefore activates Calamity Slash. So I'm not gonna risk the belt. I will play this for sure. And then I'll go ahead and find myself an Ace Trainer. The question is, do I replace the stadium or not? I feel like I should. I shouldn't, sorry. I shouldn't. That way um, my opponent won't be able to really get going too much. Wow! Just, no. <laughs> the deck just really doesn't want to work. I'll give my opponent the energy. I don't mind that at all. And then I feel like I'm just gonna GG and the Thunderous. I'm just gonna GG and the Thunderous that forces him to promote this person. Damages me a little bit, but by placing the energy off of the Frozen City, I then respond with a Calamity Slash on my own, of my own. That was a waste of a Lieutenant Surge though, for sure. <laughs> that was a big waste. I have yet to see an Ultra Ball or a Mysterious Treasure, two very clutch cards. Then we will be able to bypass his own stadium with the item card. Decides to attach, oh, this is only for, oh, excluding Plasma Pokemon. Oh, all right. All right, sir, I see you. Um, so let's fight this card, the Floatstone. Finally get a decent-ish top deck here. Can find more cards. Do I want to give my opponent an extra price card though? I probably don't. I definitely don't. I most certainly don't. So I'll grab my Shamans here. Find more price cards. Um, expert belt and retreating this guy would be nice. Perhaps I should have kept the floatstone and discarded this. Yeah, I thought about that a little bit too late. Um, Alright, so let's play this. Let's grab the floatstone. That's hard to find on the expert belt. And let's do this once again. Okay, I'm gonna grab the dust stone and I'm gonna computer search away the two dust stones for the double dragon energy. Yeah. And if I can find my versus seekers, then I can play down Mars. I can definitely play down Mars to take away even more resources from my opponent. So a way to increase the damage output would actually be pretty solid here. I do find one Mars. I do find one Mars. So, what do I do first? Do I draw cards with Shaman first? Well, I'm gonna chip chip Ice Axe no matter what. I'll give my opponent a Karen. I don't mind that at all. And then, sure, I'll draw a few extra cards. Alright. Then we shall Mars for two. Discard the Plasma Energy, and then let's go ahead and Mars again. So zero cards in my opponent's hand. We know he's gonna top the get Karen. That's pretty okay by me. And we shall Calamity Slash for 160. We'll get some damage back, completely okay by that, with that. My opponent has a Karen. He plays it, we get a Shaman back. He gets killed on Thunder is not a big deal. Does decide to play it. Making his top decks potentially worse, right? Making his top decks potentially worse by making his deck bigger. 
we'll get some damage going. We'll get some damage going. I don't really need to do much else, and there's a victory. So it took a while, <laughs> definitely took a while. But we were able to control our opponent just a tad bit, right? Just a tad bit. Let's let's try to find another game where we can showcase the deck's um, fluidity just a little, a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right. I don't know, like, this deck concept of aggressiveness plus um, hand denial definitely seems like a pretty cool, a pretty cool concept. Um, obviously a single Hoopa just completely stops you on your tracks. So um, I was thinking perhaps um, just playing uh, Silent Labs would be fine. Just playing Silent Labs would be completely okay. Um, to counteract that because if you remove their setup basically if you remove their setup and you stop them from really doing too much then um, you're probably gonna be in a good position so not the best starter right not the best starter but decent hand because you have this combination of cards so there's the dynamo Yeah, there's the Tynamo, there's the Nest Ball. We're up against Electric. Drachi is obviously a good way to counteract this, but if we knock out the Drachi and turn on, that's also pretty good. Tell the start for my opponent right here. Pretty, pretty tell the start. And it's using the non GX Zero Hour. Alright, so we're gonna get started with this guy. Grabbing a Mystery Verse so that we can dust on away. Heavily playing the Skyfield. And then, I mean, I'm gonna Jirachi, right, for the Lieutenant Surge. Well, I guess, maybe, hmm, maybe this was a bad call. Because, yeah, that was probably a bit too preemptive. Because if I draw the Lieutenant Surge of the uh, Mistrivus, then I can use that for something different, right? Um, so like I said, getting the Jirachi for my opponent is pretty good for him. Okay, so I'm going to play Lieutenant Surge, I'm going to bench that guy. I am going to go for an Ace Trainer. I will certainly go for an Ace Trainer. And then I'll play a Trainer's Mail, Expert Belt. Expert Belt of Lodestone would have been the cards of choice. Uh, probably should have grabbed the dust stone. I think I'm just gonna ace trainer here. Not gonna use up my computer search when I need when I still need just so many cards. So so many cards. Alright, this is pretty solid though. So I get another supporter in my hand if I need to. Okay, I do believe it's worth it. I don't I have no interest in using another Miss Magus here. So I will go ahead and grab another guard to Atina so I can bench that. And then I played two supporters so far. I'm definitely gonna chip to Pice Uh the Tapu Koko Prism is probably the best card to give to my opponent. The energy, it's like the paralysis could be annoying. 
extra energies shouldn't be a big deal, I hope. So we can have the top of Coco, and then we'll go ahead and set up for five more. We are still missing a bunch of cards still, though. A bunch of cards, none of which we drew. None of which we drew. So, hmm. Can I get rid of this other shame? No. I think this is better. And uh, I failed this one, right? Okay. So I am doing a lot of things, but I'm not finding the cards I need, which are energy, floatstone, and the belt. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was looking at the doll. Okay, that was really bad. That was actually really, really bad. Because with the floatstone, I already had knockout on the active with uh, linear attack. Oh my gosh, that was very silly. That was indeed very silly. All right. All right. I'll fail this one too. Now I need to draw my other floatstone. That was so dumb. Okay, so I did find the floatstone. Thank you, deck. Thank you so much for bailing me out. Okay, so do I just knock out the Tynamo and give my opponent a Jirachi? Or maybe I just snipe the bench Tynamo. Maybe that's better. I'm gonna Mars to take away an extra card from my opponent. I have yet to play a second supporter this turn. I have yet to play a second supporter this turn. Ooh, and I got rid of the Via Seeker, that's huge. So do I just KO a bench Tynamo? Is that my play? I think so. This gives him the potential to paralyze me, but if I KO this one, then this guy puts me in trouble, gets me in trouble. So this seems okay. We'll see. We shall see. That misclick though, that was 100% misclick. I was thinking, oh I got the full stone so I'll attach the double dragon to the Giratina, but then what I ended up doing was attaching the full stone to the Giratina. And that shows you that your brain moves way, 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 way faster than your actual actions. Okay, so my opponent had a skateboard Zeraora and the top deck Tapu Koko in his hand. I mean, I generally, at this stage, I guess I don't mind sniping another Tynamo. It's gonna be a while for me to to get all the knockouts that I could possibly want. This Caratina is now a huge waste of space, that's for sure. And then this guy needs six lightning energy in order to KO me. So it's not looking very likely. All right, so my bed does wake up. Another double dragon energy would be nice. I can't play Lieutenant Surge, I can't play Mars. I mean, I might as well attach the Karate Belt. No, actually, not really. Well, I just end here. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and end. See what else I can find. I do find the other energy, which is nice. I also find this guy, which is also good. And then, so do I KO the Jirachi? That seems solid, right? That should prevent me from going down. Oh my gosh, Crushing Plot, discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, that's huge. I actually probably need to prevent that. That wins my opponent the game. So I need to get back-to-back -back KOs on those two guys. Ooh, that Crush Claw attack is super scary for us, Crushing Claw attack. Super scary against this deck. Perhaps you could definitely afford the space to play a Makiarna EX to stop those sort of effects, like from Trampa, from that guy. Obviously, I don't expect to see that guy really, but the double floatstones that's another problem because now I Guzma just put me in a very awkward spot. If my opponent Guzmas, he wins. 
he probably doesn't know that. With my opponent Guzmas, he actually wins the game here. Hopefully he doesn't realize that, or he doesn't expect me to be playing. Maybe I need a third closed zone. It also seems pretty good, just to find the card. The Japanese version, because um, it's not banned in Japan, so the Japanese version has um, has puzzle of time, so you can actually reuse a bunch of cards. It doesn't have via seekers, it just has um, things like that, like double puzzle of quad puzzle of time, which is pretty huge. Pretty pretty huge. Okay, so my brain even finds a switch. And yep, there it is. I hope he goes for discharge. For whatever reason. I think now my win condition is to deck him out. Maybe? Big maybe. Oh wow. A switches, retreats, and attacks. Okay, so my win condition is now to deck him out. I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> what a weird game. If he gets desperate and decides to KO me. Probably not great. Well, it depends on if I can find the expert build. Like, what I would end up doing would be N, Lieutenant Search plus N, and goes for a Cynthia. I am completely fine by that. That's a waste of a Cynthia um, in this potential deck out scenario. He's using up his shuffle draw supporters. We'll see, though. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. See the other switch into Jirachi now. And yeah, that Jirachi is what got my opponent into the game. That Jirachi is what got my opponent into the game. And those get the knockouts. Not bad, not bad. Now I do have my energy, I do need one of my expert belts, of course. The issue is, once again, that my opponent can simply discard all of my energy. Right? I get a knockout, I have three energy left. In order to knock out these three guys, I knock out the first one, he comes up discards, I knock out the second one, he comes up discards. So it's gonna get tricky for sure. It's gonna get tricky. I really think. Oh, and only gives me four cards. So I think I'm gonna have to discard the Chip Chip Isaac. My opponent has Chirachi, so he's gonna be in an okay spot, anyways. So there's the Ace Trainer. And we do not find neither expert belt nor extra energies. I mean, hopefully this can find me extra cards. I will go ahead and Mars. No reason not to, I think. I do find the extra energy. Eight cards, three expert belts. There's what we need. I mean, I might as well attach the energy, right? And then we shall... Ooh, can I GG end for the plus? No, right? If I need six energies, I have four. I'm missing one, otherwise... Well, I would discard two Pokemon, that's not a big deal. I don't think. Hmm. It's gonna be rough here. Because I'll be down to my last energy, but my opponent will, in fact... Be, still be ahead in prizes, so my last prize I will have to grab with linear attack, so I don't think I'm winning here. 
I do not think I am winning this one. I don't think I'm winning. Wow, the cold rest is pretty big here. The cold rest is pretty big. I mean, potentially gets my opponent closer to decking out. More Tynamos. I mean, well, if you get to evolve all those Tynamos, there's potentially my last few prizes, but we shall see. And yep, there's gonna be the energy discard. Not terrible, not the best, not the worst. Um, I mean, I believe I just end here. And I keep the trainer's mails as trainer's mails to bail me out of a not so great hand. Keep taking away resources from my opponent. There's the last Sarah Aura though. There is the last Sarah Aura for my opponent. I don't think I can win this game. I do not think I can win this game against this, honestly, very peculiar deck. I needed to be one more prize card ahead. I needed to be one more prize card ahead than I currently am. The attack is just... I mean, once again, you're not going to be facing against this deck. Too, too often, my expert belt no longer works. The best I can do is take one price card. My opponent found computer search. Goes for that one card. And I believe, yeah, he says well played. So he's gonna actually be able to knock out my Garchim Giratina here. I'm fairly sure. Discards a Juniper to find a VS Seeker. Interesting. Well, okay, the BS Seeker gets him Guzma, gets him KO and Shaman. That's completely fair. Um, so yeah, going second, definitely a big deal. For this deck, we weren't able to really control what my opponent did. Um, imagine putting your opponent down to three or two starting cards with just a Tynamo. That's what um, this deck is trying to do, right? So let's try it once, once more. Let's try it once more. Try it one last time. Let's see if we can go first this time. Um, this is probably Turbo Dark, I'd imagine. I lose the coin flip again. Gee. That's three back to back going second game. Uh, I don't mind this start though, because you can immediately evolve, so that's pretty solid. That is definitely, definitely pretty solid. My opponent starts Darkrai EX, touches, plays on the sky field for us, I definitely don't mind that. Not the best start when you're using Shaman for two cards, for my opponent. And when you're max elixiring onto Shaman, you know you're in trouble. And goes for then. So we get a redraw. We get back the dust stone. That's an issue though, because now I have no other basic Pokemon. <laughs> that is a big, big issue. Because now I don't have another basic Pokemon, so I can't just dust stone and uh, use my ability. We 
There's this Nisel. So we're probably choosing to use Weavile GX. Um, definitely don't think that's good in standard. I mean in expanded. Well, it's not good in standard either. <laughs> but I don't think it's good in expanded. Like you definitely don't need to, right? Unless, like, are you really trying to Gigafold GX Plus? Or are you just trying to greedy crush here? Okay, so there we see the pass. Do top deck and ultra wall, thankfully. So that will certainly help. Let's go ahead and evolve first. And then that ultra wall will go towards what? Is it gonna go towards Hoopa or am I just gonna set up this guy and go for the Ace Trainer? That is a question here. So. Ultra Wall, I think these two are the cards to discard. That seems okay. And I mean, what I could do is get Lele, right? And with Lele, get the Lieutenant Surge. I mean, how important is it to just get two, two extra supporters played on turn one? Not that big a deal for sure. Might as well just get that guy into the active. And I'll go ahead and Mysterious Message, give my opponent a price card. Not a big deal, <clears throat> like I said. Not a big deal. We'll go ahead and mysterious treasure. The sky field. Is this where I go for the coup bomb? I don't really need extra cards. I feel like I'm just gonna set this guy up. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna bench this guy. I'm gonna trainer's mail. I was hoping for something better than this. The expert belt, more than anything, so I can get an attack off. There it is though, plus the computer search. So wow, this is actually pretty fantastic. All right. Do I wanna GG end or do I just wanna damage? I think I go for damage here, right? Discarding this and the Mars. And I'll grab my energy. My opponent should not be able to KO me. Well, actually, he might. Ah, so do I GG end? If I GG end this Nisel, then he's in a lot of trouble. And he definitely won't be able to attack. I feel like that's a bit passive, though. Well, I mean, what gives me the best odds of winning? Definitely him whiffing attacks, right? Definitely him whiffing attacks. So goodbye, Sneasel. So no energy transfer. There's no way my opponent's getting five energies onto that person in the active. Immediately benches the Zoric Greninja, hits the elixir. Order pad. Hails. Is that it? If that's it, then we're talking, right? If that's it, I might actually linear attack this guy. All right, oof, I definitely can't discard this energy. I was planning on using Ultra Wolf for Shaman. But now that we know my opponent's in top deck mode. Definitely think I linear attack. This guy. This is the real threat, right? As of right now. As of right now, that's the real threat. I want top deck star, cry prism star. And he has. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Oh, top deck sick of war. Why does that always happen? This weekend at the League Cup, I was playing Guard Over Sylvian. League Challenge, sorry. I was playing Guard Over Sylvian, and I had a power plant down. My opponent went ahead and played the Dene. Obviously, he didn't get to draw cards. And after that happened, his top deck next turn was a Lily. It's like, oh, <laughs> why do people not get punished for this? I mean, he has the possibility to top deck, right? He's playing Order Path. That's so bad. Finds Ditto. We can still snipe the Ditto. 
thanks to linear attack. I do not mind that at all. And my opponent's start is still being pretty underwhelming. He has yet to attach energy though. So I'm guessing he's debating on whether attaching to the Greninja Zork is worth it. And getting an attack off. Decides to attach to the Mega Sableye, which further just means... Ooh, interesting. Well... Oh, jeez. That just means I'm definitely gonna snipe the Ditto once again. Max Potion. This is a very greedy deck. It's Turbo... it's Turbo Greedy Dark. Greedy Turbo Dark. Very greedy. I feel like, why don't you just put tax switch? Wait, what? Murkrow. Oh my gosh. So if my opponent gets... Huh. Lieutenant Surge into Ace Trainer into Mars, hopefully. So I just grabbed this guy, right? Wow, I can't believe he's playing that guy. Um, so if he manages to set up the Huntrow GX we've lost, he's literally playing every Dark type Pokemon. He's literally playing every dark time. <laughs> All right, so let's definitely discard this person. Right, I guess this is fine. The issue is, it's too many turns for my opponent. We have no Guzma. Now I wish I had a Guzma. Now I actually wish I had Guzma in here. Uh, sure, let's grab the BS here. And then I'll go Shaman for three more. Not looking for anything in particular, I already have the Mars. The extra energy is nice, I'll go ahead and Mars. Discard a Dark Energy. And then... I feel like I just knifed the Ditto? That seems solid. I mean, I won't be able to damage the Hunch Throw. Hopefully the Hunch Throw won't be powered up. That means I can Linear Attack Shaman three times to win the game. At some point. And opponent just redraws from that. And fights a Dark Patch. From <laughs> the only energy in this disc. Oh, no, never mind. I thought it was the only energy in this disc. Well. What on earth? To say we're in trouble would be an understatement. <laughs> At least we wake up. Jeez. At least we wake up. Alright, so... Now that we're even in prizes, there's nothing I can do about that just yet. Next turn I might be able to. For now, all I can do is Calamity Slash. No way to transfer the energy, so if he wants to get a knockout, he has to use Greninja or Well, no, actually, he can use Shaman. <laughs> This is just fantastic. We've played against the two gimmiest decks ever. <laughs> Alright. Can we lock down my opponent finally? We still need to find an expert belt though for sure. So, I believe Trainer's Mail first. I'll play the, get the Force Stone, sure. So I'll vote on this guy. And I'll Lieutenant Surge. 
And then our Ultra Ball. Definitely don't need this, guys. Now Shaman. I have one Expert Belt and one Energy left. So do I draw first? No. I have to Ace Trainer, right? Well, is N better now? Maybe N is better. Because then he was down to two cards. Alright, so I'll grab the Mars. I'll sacrifice one card in order to leave him with less cards. There's the N, there's the Expert Belt, and I get a Mars, so down to one card for my opponent. I won't draw with Shaman. Not this turn, but an energy gets discarded, and then we'll go ahead and Calamity Slash. The lack of damage output is definitely noticeable here, though. Two cards, opponent. What are you gonna do with your two cards? And getting rid of the energy was pretty nice as well. Gets a compressor to potentially thin. Dark Ray GX means my opponent gets an extra 30 damage off. One, two, three, four, five. That's 150, 180 to 10, plus the energy from turn to 40, that would have been pretty scary. So we're on the edge right here, we're on the edge. Are we going to win? Are we not going to win? Got rid of Recycler, Dustom, and Kuzma. Ooh, the Kuzma is scary as well. Alright, so I need to buy my last energy to continue attacking. Correct? At some point I will have to do that, but not quite yet. Alright. <laughs> so this will be interesting. There's no way for me to win next turn though. Only I, if I had one Kuzma I just win. So maybe that's something to add to the deck. Add one Kuzma. Energy to a dark eye. And that's pretty scary. So he didn't attach energy last turn, so we know he top decked that. Oh my gosh. All three cards are so good for my opponent. All three cards give my opponent a win. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Preemptive well played. How do how much do I hate that? Okay. Uh, sure. Let's put the Via Seeker. How many Chip Chip Isaacs have I played so far? Only one. Yeah, only one. So I should have some left, right? I do. I have three left. Alright, so I'm not. I'm gonna. Yeah, sure, I'll grab it. So I'll do this, and then I'll do this. Alright, I do need my other energy though. Alright, I got both of them, so I chip chip Isaacs again. Oh, come on. Well, I guess the Dazzling, uh, the Dazzling Machine means he wins in two turns. You're kidding me! <laughs> what the heck? But he's gonna have the Dazzling Machine in his, in his hand next turn. Oh, but then I can Mars. Alright, then I can Mars. Okay, this is gonna be very close. Extremely close. <laughs> There's no execute, right? No, I didn't mess that up. But what? Oh, 
<laughs> he could have just retreated and tanked another hit though, with the Darkrai. I couldn't win next turn. Or he could have retreated into the Darkrai Prism Star as well. So next turn I would I was I needed my last. I I don't think I could have won still. I'm not sure, but I don't think like my opponent definitely had a potential there. Uh, to win, but yeah, uh, we pulled it up. Um, very, very um, complicated games for sure. Now, so it changes, changes to a list. Maybe one basic energy wouldn't be terrible in the list. Um, definitely a Kuzma though. I do believe a Kuzma would be worth including. Four Shaman feels like a lot. I think you can definitely do it without one. I'll go for the Guzma, the, the cool Guzma, the newer Guzma, and then the Lele. I mean, you can treasure for Lele, but if you're gonna treasure, you can just treasure for this guy as well and then find Yaji. So, yeah, I'll take out the Tapu Lele. And then I guess I wouldn't mind a basic energy just to complement this and not need the double dragon energy for the expert belt. So let's go for a fighting energy. So why fighting? Because um, I'm adding a fighting energy because uh, it might help with a GG and GX um, bonus fighting costs at some point. So. This is where I would leave the list, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, definitely an interesting concept. Um, I like the idea of Henry's Magius plus the Disruption. I think it's pretty solid. And yeah, that will be all from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in our next video. Bye-bye.